I'm chortling. I'm chortling away because not only am I already your king of the Iron Man, but by the end of this night, I am the best man and the best man who will win. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. I see all of you out there, out there in Rumble Land, Rumbletopia. The reason you're going to be laughing is because of the king's royal choke. Whoa. I am going to regale you with the royal choke. And if I don't hear one single chortle out of all of you don'ts, all you, well, chortlers out there in Rumble Land, then I, by royal decree, am going to subject all of you to the royal twerk. <laughs> tell by the king's I can tell by the king's undercarriage he's not getting those pop-up ads for for him's manscaping is he his opponent tonight hailing from the PPW training academy Rockstar Rosie to forgive me folks Marcus the King Smith left arm of the Rockstar Rockstar transition swing bat and miss Marcus the King Smith already in trouble here nicely done both of these guys can wrestle King is not a popular wrestler he's not a likable guy he's not the lifeful as he thinks He'll do anything in that ring to win. But it doesn't take away from the fact that he is in fact a good wrestler, i.e. he's now riding the rock star with the hammerlock. Not for long. Swing again and a miss. Rock star proving the mind is mightier than the bosom. Handful of tights unbeknownst to the referee. Marcus fires him off, tackled by the rock star. Marcus walks down. Those are gonna try that? No! He's thwarted on the Econo roll. He's 
nice vertical leap and a drop kick right in the nose of Marcus the King Smith. Right back to that left arm. Nicely done. Marcus trying to pull out the hat trick and get out of that hold. Rosie just uses his weight against him. Marcus goes down. Rosie can work on that left arm. Putting pressure on the elbow and shoulder currently. Marcus tried to pull the hair. Rosie has it. Hits him up for him. Rosie hangs on and Marcus goes for the ride and he's in worse shape than when he picked him up. Marcus is in trouble. Rosie stuck like a tick on that arm. Marcus has flipped it on Rosie. Oh! That would have been a nice monkey flip. The Rockstar had other plans though, and how much can that elbow and shoulder Marcus the King Smith take? Rosie right now thinking a step ahead, or two steps ahead. Oh, and the hip toss is thwarted as Rosie just won't release that left arm. Uh, two, three minutes in here, Rosie's the best man tonight. May the best man win. If there were points in pro wrestling, Rosie would be ahead on points. Rosie's smart. He's got him off his arm. Finally. Nice Japanese style arm drag and there's Rosie back to the arm. Tonight Rosie is out thinking, out quicking, and out wrestling the king. Remember guys, Tonight's Friday F and Frenzy is theme May the Best Man Win. Oh! Nice cross body. Caught him. Marcus trying to get out of the way of that drop kick. The rock star caught him anyway. Uh oh. Here comes a big bulldog. Oh! Marcus wrestled the way Marcus the King Smith wrestles tonight. He'll absorb so much punishment. One, two, and he had a hook of the ropes and the Rockstar still kicked out. He'll absorb so much punishment. Oh, and just wait for his opponent to make a mistake and then totally capitalize off it. And that second knee to the sternum was worse than the first one. Aggressive cover, one, two, not tonight. Rosie will not do business. He will not go silently into that dark good night. Yeah, you gotta give Marcus the King Smith credit. Cruel knee to the spine. A uh, elbow. Coming off the ropes. And there's the shin bone, the hardest bone in the body next to the cranium. And now he's got the chin lock on the rock star. Five minutes gone, five minutes gone. Rosie trying to fight up from underneath. He's doing it. He's lifting Marcus with those elbows. Mark swings wild. Swings wild again. Oh! Nicely placed. This might do it. Oh, he got all of that elbow. The cover, one. Two! Oh! Marcus frustrated with the heart, the size of Wisconsin, of Rockstar Rosie. Ooh, he just boxed his ears. That's how you get cauliflower ears. Another shin to the spine. In my opinion, King is taking for granted Rockstar right now. Oh, it's another way to box the ears, damage the back and neck. Let the best man win, Rosie. And look, he's got to talk all that. Whoa. Up to this point, he's been backing it up. Rosie's in trouble. 
Marcus kind of taking his time, but nicely done. Ha a high knee, knee lift. And Rosie's in trouble. Marcus has slowed the tempo down, and it's been working. Another knee lift. I think that one caught Rosie in the jaw. Oh, Rosie fighting back. He's got his sleeper on there. But not for long. Marcus turns it into another life. One, two. So remember, the next matchup, Badass Brandon Campbell, the relentless Jay Leon is going to face the winner of this match. Seven minutes gone. Seven minutes gone. Gotta give Rosie credit though, he's fighting back. He started hot. Since the beginning, it's been all Marcus the King Smith. Marcus is gonna amp it up here. He's going to the high risk district. Nothing like a royal crowning to kick off the night. A royal crowning. You see what I'm saying? It wasn't such a slave to the ego. Count! Such a slave to the ego, he would have delivered that crowning, crowning blow. Instead, he shot that mouth off, and now it's Rosie, a house of fire. He's utilizing the piss out of that drop kick. And why not? They work. They've taken Marcus out of his boots three times already. Rockstar Rosie going to cinch in. Well, I thought he was going to cinch in his patented um, Burmese sleeper. Double knockout! Double knockout! 90 seconds left in the match! Unbelievable back and forth. Rosie gets cut off. Marcus rams him face first into the turnbuckle. Sets him up on the top rope. What's he gonna do? I think he's gonna superplex him. And there we go. Oh man, poor Rosie. He's just up there like a carcass. And there's the superplex. Count! I don't know if these guys are gonna answer. Nine minutes gone! Nine minutes gone! Apparently, this matchup has been ruled a double knockout. Neither man could answer the 10 count. We're going to have to take this decision under advisement because it certainly doesn't bode well for the theme of the night, may the best man win, and we're already at a stalemate in the opening contest. Once again, this match is ruled a double knockout. Double knockout. Introducing first at six foot four, two hundred and thirty-five pounds from the PPW Training Academy. He is currently one half of Premier Pro Wrestling's Tag Team Champions, Badass Brandon Campbell. Official merchandise shop. Premier Pro Wrestling on Pro Wrestling Tees. Brandon's got a couple of really cool original designs in our shop, along with PPW or Premier Pro brand t-shirts. This kid's got a bright future ahead of him, folks. Bright future. Ian Anderson now checking badass Brandon Campbell. 
the way he got that name, it wasn't us, it was the fans. He didn't come up with that. The company didn't come up with that. Somebody compared him to Danny Trio in the movie series, Badass. And I'll be damned if he doesn't look like Danny Trio, only a foot and a half taller. His opponent tonight in the second matchup of the evening, also hails from the Premier Pro Wrestling Training Academy. He stands 5 foot 10, 205 pounds. The relentless Jay Leon. This music, and you'll see it's really good, was composed by his father. It's original to the relentless Jay Leon. Listen. Good song or what? Another kid with a bright future. Just watch. Very talented young men in there. Truth be known, these two guys do a lot of training together. I'm not going to say they're BAE, but they're friends. But they want to advance in the wrestling business. How do you do that? By winning. So they're friends that bring out the best in each other. But don't forget, these are young, aggressive wrestlers with a lot of testosterone and adrenaline. And look at the intensity. That's why I love these guys. Both early 20s, but look at the intensity. They both certainly look the part. They both love wrestling about the same amount. They know each other very well. They know their own strengths and weaknesses, but they also know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Now by the first glance, Brandon possesses the size advantage. That being said, it's gonna be interesting to see how Jay compensates. It's going to have to be smart, quick, or all of the above. He's got hard, you'll see. Second lockup, but Brandon achieved dominance on the first one, driving the youngster Jay Leon back. And look at that, Jay grabs the head. Now why do they put a bit in the horse's mouth? Because if you control the horse's head, you control the horse's body, and it's essentially the same concept here. But Brandon has other plans. A horse can't grab a headlock on you and transition back and get onto your head when he weighs more than you do. Jay's in trouble. Nicely done, but Jay! Oh, but Brandon hangs on, and these two guys, man, they're a stalemate, but they've got to break. So far, it's been a healthy air of competition. Hey! Nicely done. Jay puts over Brandon. What's Jay doing? This is the oldest hold in the wrestling game, folks. It's called a Greco-Roman knuckle lock. It's a test of strength. They've been doing this since we were basically shaved apes greased up in Greece. See who's the better man. Jay Small, I don't know what he's thinking, but I'm sure he's got something up his sleeve, and he's got Brandon locked in. Now, of course, on the onset, Brandon is going to have the upper hand with the height advantage and about 30 pounds. 30 pounds! And right now, he's got Jay down. Maybe Jay went for that out of pride. Jay has been working out. He does have a low center of gravity, but right now, it's not doing him any good. And look at that. The shoulder down. One. And look at Brandon. Brandon's not going to win it here, but he is going to break Jay down. Jay gets out of it. Jay's shoulders are technically not down. Jay pushes him back. He's back up to his feet. Jay climbing the ropes. And this is what you got to do in this scenario. Jay walking the ropes. 
actually set him up for an arm drag. Nicely done, and he gets right on badass Brandon Campbell, controlling the head and upper body. He gator rolls, and now he rolls all the way through with it. Now he's got Brandon tied up, and that was nicely done. But Brandon, letting that strength and size that he naturally has work for him at this point. Jay whacking away, and can Jay get that? He got it! One! No! Two count. Jay's up first as he's the quicker man. Just shoves Brandon back. Strike or forearm. I wish rip reverse by badass. Oh, poor Jay. That took a lot out of him. Probably knocked the wind out of him. Now these guys work out. They work out hard. They work out here at the training academy. So a lot of times you'll see the recuperative powers because of all the drills and the repetition that they do out there and the amount of wrestling that they do during the week when they're not on camera or at our tapings on Saturday nights here. Brandon looks like he's going for a suplex. Jay able to pump the brakes. Brandon goes for it again. Jay pumps the brakes. Jay whacks away at Brandon. Nope, to no avail. And right now, who wants this suplex? And Brandon has him up. Oh, he dropped hard. He dropped Jay like a bad habit. Look at Jay's face, says it all. One, two. And no, Jay barely gets that left shoulder up. Jay's reeling though, but notice Brandon. Jay has slowed him down. It's taken a lot for Brandon to stay on him. Jay is now currently in a bear hug. What does the bear hug do? Slows down the blood flow and the oxygen to the body. You need oxygen, you need to get air in and blood flow to get your wind in to keep going. And this is smart by Brandon. And Jay was right for the picking on this one. Those shorting ribs, though I mean those short ribs, they're, uh oh. Two, and this might be it. Five minutes gone. Jay fights back. Now those floating ribs are very easy to compress and squeeze, and that's where the lungs end. Jay comes off the ropes, only to end up back into that bear hog, and it looks like it's asserted harder than it was. Brandon is not happy with letting Jay escape. He goes back to work on the back and the ribs. Slowing down the blood flow, the oxygen flow, which Jay really needs. It's very desperate. It causes a panic type situation when your heart's pumping and your blood's going and your adrenaline's going and somebody slows it down. And look at that. He's boxing the ears. And yeah, that puts a lot of stress on the eardrums. Ducks Brandon's clothesline. Oh! And now Jay goes for the cover. One, two, oh! Here goes Jay Leon trying to go to work on Brandon. One, two, uh oh! Look at that beautiful agility and strength of the badass. Nice sidewalk slam, and Jay wisely rolls to the ropes. Precious seconds, and Brandon lost. No! Precious seconds that Brandon lost. Well, look at how hard up Brandon is. Been a good match, Brandon. Jack knifes Jay, one, two. Now it's Jay's turn. Yes, he gets away with it. Somehow, drop toes the bigger man. Smart business, goes right to the head. Brandon's in trouble. I think his face and body language says it all right now. Seven minutes gone, seven minutes gone. Jay drops down. Oh, this might do it, one. Right at 299, it doesn't get any closer. Brandon can't believe it either. To be honest with you, I'm not surprised. I know how much this kid loves wrestling and loves competing out there in the ring, and I'm talking about Jay Leon. Not that Brandon made any mistake whatsoever, but Jay's just got heart and a love for this industry that is unsurpassed. Well, I shouldn't say that because now I look over at his opponent, Brandon Campbell. Brandon goes for the scoop slam, he's got him up. What's he gonna do with him? He plants him in the corner, toward the corner, pulls him away from the ropes. I, for one, can't wait to see what's coming. 
Watch this. I know what's coming. Look at this. Oh, and he's got him. One, two. Oh, but Jay Leone. Don't know how he kicked out of that one. That was instinct. Eight minutes gone. Eight minutes gone. Uh, that was pure instinct. Look at how worn down Brandon Campbell is, though. Not in as bad a shape as Jay, but he's feeling the effects of this match. It's been a great fast pace with a lot. Uh-oh, he blocks that forearm, shoves him down, throws the kick. Brandon catches the kick, and he catches Brandon with a Pele, but it took so much out of him. The playing field's level. Both men are down. I hope we don't see another double knockout. 90 seconds left, 90 seconds left. Nope, they're both up, no double knockout this time. Beautiful drop kick, sends Brandon reeling. Second one was even higher, sends Brandon reeling. Watch this one. Oh, right in the eyebrows, and that might do it. That might do it. Nine minutes gone, one minute left. Oh, and it's all Jay. The relentless Jay Leon, one, two, but now Brandon shows his power. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, what a matchup. Am I lying? Comment, comment, they've earned it. Look at Brandon, he almost fell himself. Unbelievable, what's he gonna do with him? Jay's whacking out of that thing like nobody's business. 30 seconds left. They're jockeying for the waist lock, trying to get the Akana roll. And it's Jay, he gets it. Wait, I spoke too soon. Brandon has the counter roll. Your winner of this matchup. What? What? Oh, are you shitting me? The referee has declared this match a no contest. When badass Brandon Campbell reared back with the victory roll, the O'Connor roll, his shoulders were down as well. Both men were pinned at the three count. Wow, that was something. Now I'm 58 years old, folks, and I've been around this industry quite a while. I'm finally to that point where they used to tell me when I was a young man that I've forgotten what most young guys know in the business today. And that's a shoot, I'm starting to slip a little bit, but I have enough gray matter left to problem solve. When I was a young man, I've ever been described as a natural born problem solver. So hang on one second, I've got an idea. Hey, before you guys vacate the ring area, I don't know if you saw it or if you were preparing for your own matches, but the first match ended in a double knockout. Neither Rosie or Marcus Smith were able to answer the 10 count. You guys ended in a no contest. Technically, both men's shoulders were down for the three count. Brandon, why don't you step back on inside of that ring and I'm gonna ask Rockstar Rosie, front and center, front and center, Rockstar Rosie. There he is. Why don't you go ahead and get in that ring? I'm asking you to get in that ring because I don't want any action outside the ring, as I'm sure tonight's only referee, Ian Anderson, wants the same. Now please, if you can behave, I'd like to have Marcus the King Smith come out here and get inside that ring because this concerns you as well. Marcus Smith, please. There he is. And no need for banter, sir, if you would be so kind. Thank you, thank you. Marcus the King Smith. This playing's actually a delightful quality for once. I think Marcus himself is also focused on what the theme of the evening is, may the best man win. Guys, all four of you work your butts off. I gotta give you credit. All four of you are young, hungry, and you're out here trying to make a name for yourself in the wrestling industry. And there's a lot of competition today, boys, as we all know. A lot more pressure is on you guys than a lot of people think, and hopefully we're educating some of the fans watching 
live stream on Rumble tonight, and also the replay when it comes onto PPW on our YouTube channel. Now, that being said, the theme of the night, may the best man win. We currently don't have a winner of either match. You were supposed to face each other. I'm talking about the winners of the first two matches. But I have an idea if you bad boys are down with it. I would say even Marcus would agree. Are you satisfied with the way tonight's going so far? Rosie, hmm? Brandon, I don't even have to ask, but I'm gonna. And Jay, I know you live, breathe, eat, sleep, and crap the wrestling industry. I know you're not happy either. So what I'd like to ask right now is you guys to just behave for a moment while I just take five seconds with the official. Come here, Ian, will you? Please, guys, no contact, please. Thank you. Marcus, that's beautiful. Stay right there. Oh, I'm, I feel like a proud father. All right, all right. Thanks for the reminder. Okay. What we're going to do right now is very odd, but I think it's a surefire way to make sure that there's no alliance out there. As uh, some of you guys do get along, but in the same token, you guys want to win tonight and go ahead and go down in the books as being the best man, may the best man win. <clears throat> go ahead and get in the tag corners. The tag corners are clearly marked with the tag ropes. Marcus the King Smith, your partner in this is Jay Leone. That being said, I'm sure Brandon and Adam, the rock star, Rosie, know what's coming. Now this isn't going to be your regular tag match. Don't get me wrong. It's every man for himself. You guys will start out as two teams going against each other. And this is going to be elimination style. No? No, it's just a regular match. It's just a regular match. The winners will face each other at the end. The winners will face each other at the end. So what's the story? So the, the winner, like if whoever wins that tag team, those two will fight each other to see who's the best. All right, you guys heard it. One man in, one man out. Remember, guys, adhere to the referee, and tags do not count unless you're hanging on to that top rope. Once again, we don't expect any alliances here. Like we said at the beginning of the night, May the best man win. We're off. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Now right now what's going to happen is they're going to go ahead and try to find the two winners on either side. I believe. Then they're going to face each other. The eliminated guy. So it is elimination. It is elimination. And right now, Jay Leon and Rosie are starting off, and it's refreshing to see some wrestling. Rosie with the big headlock takedown. They're very equal in talent, or equally matched, Jay and Rosie. They both bring something different to wrestling. They both have a different move set. Oh, look at the innovation of Jay Leon with that head scissor takeover. And that was smart, and he's glaring at his partner, which is hilarious. Marcus the Kingsmith, while he's pumping up with those big legs on the Rockstar. Rockstar with a jackknife, and he gets the first count. Jay Leon Gator rolls out of harm's way. Rockstar Rosie wrestles from underneath, comes up with the hammer lock. And look at that, he's got Jay compromised. Brandon tags in. Brandon snap mares Jay, delivers a high impact strike to the back lat area. Spins Jay over, 
grabs that face lock body lock combination. Look at Brandon up on his toes applying pressure. But look at Jay, rolls through, Brandon hangs in there, rolls through, and look at this here. Jay gets a one count. He caught Brandon sleeping but for a second. Close doesn't count in pro wrestling. Only horseshoes and hand grenades. And this is a real nice wrestling match. Jay is gator rolling Brandon to try to get it confused and stirred up and dizzy and it kind of worked. Tag is made. There's no time limit here in this one. And now we see Marcus the Kingsmith against the badass Brandon Campbell. Marcus can wrestle, folks. <laughs> Oh, when he wants to. Look at it, he's in his guard. He's in his guard position, and Brandon knows better. There's either some scam coming, or Marcus may tie him up from the guard. He's very effective from the guard. He's a student of the game. And look at this. Marcus has got the left arm, and oh, unbelievable. He's got a form of the head scissor on badass Brandon Campbell. Brandon fell for it. And Marcus proving he can wrestle. Brandon, oh! And look at that. <laughs> Brandon comes off the ropes, and rather than he gets Marcus to break the hold, he jumps on the head, and Marcus goes into the ropes, and he's out of harm's way. Stays in that guard. Why not, since it worked? And Brandon will not play butt games with Mark. He tags in the rock star to see if he has more patience. Remember, guys, there's no alliance in here. These four guys are out for themselves. I'd say Marcus is the only one in this without a friend out there. But that doesn't mean that Rosie will not pull out a pinfall or even his Burmese sleeper on Jay Leon. Marcus is trying to get Jay to play games here and put his boot up. He did. Oh, that was nice. See what I mean about Mark? Not having any friends. Rosie moves in one. Would have been something to see the rock star get eliminated. Now, don't forget what happens <laughs> to the guy that doesn't get eliminated in this scenario. That means he's out there wrestling two guys in a handicap tag situation. Marcus was almost eliminated. Jay Leon takes advantage of Rosie, digs in for a scoop slam. Nicely done. Jay Leon with a leg drop. Nice height. Cover one. Now, Jay did nothing wrong there. Rosie has just got heart. That was a palm strike, perfectly legal. Double knees to the sternum, cover. That time a two count, Rosie showing his heart by kicking out. Jay Leon back on the upper body. Reversal by the rock star. This back and forth is unsurpassed. Rosie going to work on the midsection. Rosie Irish whip reversed by Jay. Up and over goes the rock star. He's gonna try to slice the bread. The bread, is, bread has been sliced. Rosie might have Jay eliminated here, but no, Marcus breaks it up. Oh, it's gotta be frustrating. It's gotta be frustrating. Marcus' ego is so big. He doesn't want to be out there left alone against Campbell and Rockstar, so he saved his quote-unquote opponent tonight. And look at that. Jay Leon takes advantage of that moment of distraction, and no! Nicely done backbreaker. These guys are great. All four of these guys, very talented young men. Jay Leon needs a break, tags out to Marcus the King Smith. And yes, they're going to go ahead and deliver a double team move here. That double suplex. Jay's got a bail. Look at Marcus reminding him, get out of there. After he used them, one, two, and Rockstar Rosie showing a lot of heart. Got that front face lock on him. Rosie whacking away at the midsection, the hip flexors. And Rosie trying to jockey Marcus into a suplex. He gets it, but he can't follow up with a pinfall because he's spent from the offense of Marcus the Kingsmith. I think Rosie's going to try to tag here as to not get pinned, as does Marcus. And now we're going to see badass Brandon Campbell and Jay Leon, who we just saw 10 minutes ago in their singles match. 
I love this, guys. Sorry, but I love it. Reverse, reverse. Jay goes into the turnbuckle. Brandon smushes him. Jay is staggered. And that was a stiff strike. Backsplash. And Jay's body language says it all. Nice. He fires himself like a lawn dart into the solar plexus of Jay Leon. Jay is sucking win. Brandon easily gets that snap. Mayor points at Marcus. Beautiful clothesline and a cover. This might be it. Two. Oh! Marcus returns. Marcus. Wow, that's got to. Hey, look at here. Jay's going to take advantage. Who? Oh! Jay off the ropes. Brandon with a stiff clothesline. First one there. Oh, Brandon is having bad words or words with Marcus. Marcus hates him. He says like a child. I hate you. So my daughters used to say. My daughters used to say, I hate you. Right now, let's get back to the action. Badass Brandon Campbell. Jay Leon staggered but on his feet. Goes to the ropes to stay on his feet. Brandon with a big strike. Aggressive, not cheating. He's not cheating. He's being aggressive at this point. Uh, look at Jay, though. He's had enough, dude. And now he's firing back. It's his turn. He throws Brandon in. Double knees to the chest. Jay Leon. What's he going to follow up with? Oh, those knees right to the sternum. One, two, no. Brandon Campbell is transitioning to a dragon sleeper of nothing else. Taking the wind out of the sails of Jay Leo. Now it's cinched in. He may get a damn submission here. He may get Jay Leo to pass out and be the first one eliminated. Jay's in trouble. How innovative. Keeps dropping him on that knee. Jay Leon in trouble. Brandon capitalizing. But he's letting Mark get in his head. A cover. One, two, no. Jay Leon. Jay Leon to the ropes. Brandon's got to break the hold. Jay tags out just when he needs it. Brandon's tired, but he's on his feet. King comes in with that cheesy smile. Looks like they're going to. Oh, Marcus is outsmarting him at this point. Marcus in his guard again. And this time he's got a form of a short arm scissor. He's got that arm scissor, that short arm scissor locked in on the bigger man. That was really smart wrestling by Marcus. He's got the head and the left arm of Brandon tied up. He's got him in the rings of science. He might make him tap. This might be it. Who would have thunk it? Looks like Brandon Campbell is going to be the first one eliminated, leaving Rosie out there by himself. No, maybe not. He said no the first time. So painful. Look at that. He's out of harm's way, but for how long? Mark up first. Brandon with a beal right in the middle of the ring. Can Brandon follow up? He slowed down. He's sluggish. Ten minutes gone. Ten minutes gone. That's what's nice now is he's able to tag to take a break. Double team move, double hip toss, double your pleasure, double the impact. Mark might be out. No. Marcus the King Smith showing he's got heart too. I told you, kids, Marcus is no slouch. He talks a lot of shit. He's not very popular, but he knows his way around a wrestling ring. And he knows his way around this game, this world, that we call pro wrestling. You wouldn't know it right now. Look how smart Rosie has got Marcus tied up. Marcus has one arm out, two arms out, shoots the double leg on the rock star. One, two, oh, but the rock star. Marcus didn't plan for that one. There it is. No, Marcus rolls through. DDT on the rock star, and that might do it if Mark can get over and cover him. He can't. He's too exhausted. Rosie doesn't know where he is. Marcus puts him down. Does a roll. Sent on. One, two, no. Unbelievable. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. No bullshit. These guys are talented. And look at that. Marcus stumbles into a tag, which counts because Jay had the rope. Jay's got to capitalize on Mark's work now. Snap, there's the rock star. 
He backs him up. Oh, and he made him kiss his own knee. Jay Leon with a cover. One, two, no! Rosie, unbelievable, unbelievable heart. Jay Leon on Rockstar Rosie. Oh, and he dropped him with that flat liner and he rolls through. And now he's gonna submit the rock star, it looks like. He's gonna try to submit him. There it is, that holds the plot. I don't know what he calls it, but the rock star's in trouble. He's got him tied up. He's got him tied up, man. Look at that, Jay's got all his eggs in this submission basket. Let's see what Rosie's made of. This is Rosie's mud check time. This is the part of a wrestling match. Oh! That separates the men from the boys. Marcus almost tagged in inadvertently like Jay did to him. Not before. Oh, and Jay, an idiot. He dropped Adam, Rockstar Rosie, right on his face. Jay's not satisfied with that for a cover. He's picking Rosie up for something higher impact. And that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Rosie playing a little possum. Able to turn the tide on Jay Leon, but now Jay won't let go of that top rope. Rosie with a high knee makes him let go of that top rope. Rosie points at Brandon. Now it's his turn to close on cover. One, two. Look at this. This has been a great matchup, guys. What a tempo. What a tempo. Four guys out there trying to win the match for themselves. Nicely done. Display of heart, innovation, fitness, fitness level. Rosie going in for that snap suplex. He gets it. Jay Leon feeling it. Rosie so exhausted. But Marcus the King Smith again. Breaks it up, trying to get in the head now of Rosie. And you can see the other side of the ring, badass Brandon Campbell, literally having Marcus the Science Smith, Marcus the King Smith flashbacks. It's welling up. Rosie gets back to business, gets on Jay Leone. He's got the upper hand. Jay into the corner the hard way. Oh, and there's an elbow. He's going to hit him with that bulldog, and that's going to be it. First one eliminated, maybe Jay. One. Two. Oh, come on, Marcus breaks the count again. Brandon's pissed. Oh, shit. He's had all he can stand. He can't stand no more. All four guys are in there. The referee is lost, losing control. Now Jay and Rosie get back to business. All four guys going crazy out there. 15 minutes gone, 15 minutes gone. Look at this, all hell's breaking loose. Referee's giving him a wide berth. Jay with the suplex. Brandon with the backslide, and we won! Two, three! Wait a minute. Badass Brandon Campbell had Marcus the Kingsmith in a backslide from here. Uh, Jay Leone had Rockstar Rosie in a suplex. What the hell happened? Oh my God. <laughs> guys. <laughs> guys, guys, be cool, be cool. The official tonight in this matchup, or in these three matchups, actually, Ian Anderson ruled it this way. Brandon? You and Marcus weren't exactly the legal men, but he lost control of the match, the referee by the four of you going at it. Because we haven't had a winner up to this point, or up to that point, I should say, he gave you guys a wide berth. Jay Leon, when you went and put that brain buster suplex on the rock star, he hooked your leg. So in, in essence, what happened in the referee's ruling is where this one rises and sets. You had each other pinned in that last matchup. Now, if you could give me two more minutes to concur, I should say confer with Ian, we're going to figure out a way because one way, shape, or form tonight, 
there will be a best man. Just give us a moment. Now what we're going to do to figure out who the best man is, so may the best man win, we're going to do a four-way tag elimination matchup, okay? Two guys in the ring at a time, and when you are defeated, you are officially eliminated from the match until there is one guy out there who for bragging rights and for advancement in this industry will go down in the history books as July 2023's best man in May the Best Man Win. So what I'd like to do right now, if you're all right with it, Ian, since the first matchup was Marcus versus Rosie and the second matchup was Jay Leon versus badass Brandon Campbell, why don't we start this match with the starting participants, Jay Leon and Rockstar Rosie. Is everybody ready? All right, I'm gonna say it again. I am a cornball, folks, you all know that. May the best man win! These guys are so talented, so much heart. What a great dilemma to have, dude, when they're all four so evenly matched with different styles, different shapes, different ethnicities, different sizes, different beliefs. Do y'all have one thing in common, a love for this industry? Oh, and right now, Jay Leon and Rosie have nothing in common as Jay took him down with a beautiful waist lock takedown. He's controlling the Rockstar. Rockstar, though, wrestles his way out of that. Oh, move for move, tip for tat, and he turtle spins on top of Jay. Jay fights out from underneath. Now he's tied Rosie up. Rosie does the same thing and comes up with the left arm of Jay Leon. But Jay lips up after wrestling two matches, both of these guys. Look at the pace they're starting with already. I'm proud of them. Unbelievable. Train here at Premier Pro Wrestling. Now, I don't think that was on purpose. Who did Marcus tag? He tagged Rosie, and he's got to return to his corner. Far be it for Marcus to not take advantage of that situation. Again, I don't think Rosie fed Jay there. I think they ended up there, and Marcus tagged him. Marcus trying to slow that pace down. Jeez, that was mean. And a cover, a cocky cover. It's never going to happen. I think Ian was being generous with that count. Here we go. Marcus slowing down the tempo. Wants no part of that quickness at this point. He wrestles smart, not necessarily hard. But you know what? Oh, sometimes hard wins as Jay Leon has finally found his balls, baby. Marcus hits the ropes. Oh, same issue. Same story, different day. Knocked the wrist tape off Marcus. Look at the tape. Marcus, too much pride, folks. Look at that, he want all this beef. He's calling himself the beefcake. Oh, and Marcus the King Smith is in trouble. Marcus the King Smith almost gets tagged. He stumbles toward badass Brandon Campbell. And Brandon, Marcus goes down and Brandon comes in. Nicely done, nicely done. Now Jay and Brandon, they've tried everything else on each other tonight. Let's see what they can come up with to score a pinfall or elimination or a submission. Brandon, gorgeous fireman's carry. Jay Leon's got to get Brandon off his left arm. He gets up and Brandon just lets history repeat itself. Beautiful fireman's. Jay Leon's got to get out of this. He's got to come up with something. Wait a minute, Brandon went for a third, and Jay had a plan, and that short DDT stuns Campbell. Drop kick, a mini drop kick, a lot of power, cover one. And I thought we were going to see Brandon eliminated there. No way, shape, or form. 
that I think he would kick out at one. That was a high impact short drop kick. Mega power. We own the fireman. Brandy doesn't know what hit him. Jay with the fireman's. And these guys are wrestling at a stalemate. Jay Leon with the overhand wrist lock, taking a page out of the book, The Art of War by Sen Su, and you fight your opponent from the high ground whenever possible. But that opponent must not have been badass because he's out of there, and that leg drag, leg sweep with his own leg, takes Jay out. And now Brandon's gonna wrestle, gonna re show, teach Jay how to wrestle. Innovation, got the left arm trapped. The left leg is scissored, rears back on the head and neck, and Jay is, at the very least, compromised. There it is, now the left arm is trapped. Combo of a hammer lock, a toe hold. And a reverse chin lock. Did I add the 235 pounds of Campbell on top of him? But not for long. Look at the smaller, quicker, greasier, funnier, funkier, funner, sweatier. Jay Leon slip out of that. And now look at him. He's having a blast. Steiner reclinering. Uh, badass Brandon Campbell. Look at Brandon's skin color from the chin up. He's red. But look at that. Powers out. Oh, and a very, very short sidewalk slam. Stuns Jay, gets him off. And look at this, Brandon, unbelievable strength from the ground. Oh, one, no, oh. Jay Leon passes his medal test and Brandon needs a rest. Jay Leon can't get over the tag, Marcus, too tired. Rosie comes in, takes advantage. Snap suplex, rolls over for a cover. Ref, get Brand. Get, oh, there we go. Brandon's back in his corner. And Jay Leon, series of palm strikes with a quick drop kick, knocks Adam Rockstar Rosie senseless, gets a two count. And look at that. Jay tags in Brandon. For what reason, I don't know. Maybe he needs a break. Yeah, he's holding his back. He's holding his back. There are only five minutes gone, five minutes gone. What a compelling matchup tonight, folks. These four guys are working their butts off. So much pride on the line, so much heart, so much love for the game. Rosie goes for that single leg. Brandon pumps the brakes. Basket toss, a basket toss by badass Brandon Campbell. Rosie's got to regroup. He's got to regroup, circling the ring. Contemplating. Brandon trying to appear calm, cool, and collected. Rosie facing off. Eye contact is made. They don't want to make a mistake here. And now uh, this time, Rosie goes for the single leg. Brandon puts on the brakes. Harkis toss. Once again, the bigger man using his size. The thinking there is that if Rosie can take out one of those legs, they're the same size, flat on the mat. Brandon won't do business. It's gotta be frustrating for Rosie. Jay Leon, Marcus the King Smith looking on. So focused is Rockstar. So focused is badass Brandon Campbell. They're really giving meaning to that term tonight. May the best man win. And look at that, they're hand fighting. And this time, Brandon goes for the leg sweep. After a series of hand fighting, he goes for the single leg, but Rosie's gonna flip the script on him. Basket toss by the rock star. And that caught Brandon off guard. That caught Brandon off guard and took incredible strength of the decathlete, the triathlete body shape of Rosie. And he trains like a triathlete, folks. Now remember, Rosie possesses that Burmese sleeper. He calls it his equalizer that'll work on any man, any size. Thing is, he's got to get it locked in. And look at this. Brandon goes for the single leg again. Rosie steps back. Brandon's got him up. Rosie whacks his way out of it. And Ali takes Brandon over in a basket toss. Unbelievable. Brandon's going, where the hell did that come from? Nicely done. Move for move. Tit for tat. Who's the better man? 
We don't know yet. Jay Leon trying to provide positive energy for both his friends. But when he gets in there, it's on. Look at these guys, a series. Little hand fighting going on. Little hand fighting. Brandon comes in and grabs that waist lock on the rock star. Oh! Turns him inside out. That waist lock takedown. Turtle spins all the way back. Rolls Rosie up. Rosie is going for the ride. Brandon has got everything he has applied to that waist. But Rosie whacks his way out, out of that one. Series of shots to the solar plexus and serratus. Finds his way to the left arm of Brandon. Cinches in that hammerlock. And see what I mean? <clears throat> right now, they're the same size. He's equalized the size difference. But Brandon walks his way out of that one, at least from the belly. Powers his way back up. Presses off of Rockstar, gets that snap mare. Brandon coming, oh! That was a risk, the risk backfired. Marcus, the king! No, Rosie emphatically kicks out. Emphatically. Now, Marcus emphatically nails the Rockstar with a series of blows. And look at that, picture perfect. Russian leg sweep. Rosie able to get out at two and a half. The friggin' tempo of this match, folks, is unbelievable. If you're not impressed, you're not a wrestling fan. If you're not a wrestling fan, you probably are now after seeing these guys tonight. <sighs> Marcus on the Rockstar. Rockstar palm striking his way into the hole, into the ropes. Marcus must release. Rosie, with one for good measure, fires him off. And look at that, Marcus delivers some right to the rib cage. Oh, come on! You hate to see that. This match was going so good. Wouldn't be Marcus Smith, though, if he didn't take shortcuts, folks. <clears throat> There's a senton. One, two, no! Rosie passing his mud check. Passing his metal test. For you bikers, he's passing his mud check. Marcus the King Smith on Rosie. Reverse! Oh, he hit that corner hard! Big backdrop, but that took everything Rosie had to get him over. Rosie to his feet with help from the ropes. Marcus still on his knees. Rosie! Shot right between the eyes and a cover. Might have been that knockout blow. No, he's in the ropes. Ten minutes gone. Ten minutes gone. Crucifix attempt. Two. And Marcus had the ropes. The referee caught him. Marcus had the ropes, but the referee caught him. Apparently, Marcus the King Smith is the turd in the punch bowl tonight. Raking the eyes, grabbing the ropes and the tights. Thank God Jay Leon stole that tag. We can get back to some clean competition. Jay Leon ultra focused, as is Rosie. Everybody's working so hard in this match, even Marcus. Rosie backs Jay in from the headlock, fires him off. Jay with that big tackle. The kid is all shoulders, hips, and ass. Goes behind on Rosie's scoop slam attempt. Rosie hangs on, blocks the O'Connor roll. Jay Leon drops down, beautiful mid rank. Oh! And he catches him in a gorgeous drop kick. Might be it. One, two, oh! Unbelievable show of heart by both competitors. That was a roller coaster ride of a high spot, folks. Now Jay Leon has got a reverse chin lock on Rosie. It's somewhere between a dragon sleeper reverse chin lock, but it is controlling Rosie, breaking him down. Look at Rosie's power. He uses Jay to get up. He spins it through, a couple of shots. Oh! And that was a DDT that he got all of. I can see the birdies swirling around the head of Jay Leon right now. But Rosie can't get there quick enough to go for a cover. Oh! By hook or by crook? Oh, come on! Look at that. But look at, I hope, he's giving Jay Leon a lot of time to get his win back if he can. Got just enough win to palm strike his way out 
Reverse, reverse. Sunset coming. One, two. Oh, Marcus boxed his ears with the legs. Jay up first. Oh, double leg by Mark. Oh, but uh, Jay Leon moves on the elbow. Leg drop on the sternum. Cover one. One count. Give Marcus credit. Big stomp by Jay. Looks like Jay's going to the high risk district. Marcus up first, though. He cuts him off. He cuts him off. Unbelievable shots. I can hear those bouncing off the head of Jay. My God. He landed that superplex. Got to get him away from the ropes. Losing precious seconds. Oh! Jay Leon. They don't call him the relentless for nothing, folks, but that was a gorgeous superplex. This time, Marcus wasn't as tired going into it. He didn't have the two head knocks that he had with the rock star from the open air. Oh! I thought that was it. <clears throat> that time, the superplex was an offensive move, where earlier it was to just move out of desperation as the head of Rosie and Marcus both hit in that opening contest twice. Marcus riding Jay Leon. <clears throat> Jay getting up to a knee. Jay with both feet underneath him now. Marcus with a chin lock. Jay Leon goes for the kick. Marcus throws him through. Jay gets him with a kick, answers with another kick, and a power drop kick, and now the playing field's level again. Jay with up first, goes for the cover. One, two, Marcus kicks out. That was all Marcus, no ropes involved. But Marcus grabs the head of Jay on the way up. Beautiful neck breaker. Now it's Mark's turn, but he can't get there quick enough. These guys are exhausted. This is their third match tonight. One, two, oh! Uh, I felt the frustration there, but now instead of going for a pinfall and focusing, Marcus gives pie face to the rock star so he can distract the referee to choke out the kid. Brandon gets in there, he couldn't get disqualified. And look at that, he's having his way with him, a, a mugging. He mugged Jay Leon, no, no! Jay Leon stays alive. Remember, this match is elimination, so that way we can have a winner. Marcus using every dirty trick in the book and outside the book. He's actually writing an anti-rule book tonight in these three matches. Marcus hits the ropes behind him. Rosie, oh! Oh! Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Couldn't happen. Jay Leon going for the tag. Marcus, he's checking to see if the twins are okay. Marcus is up. Oh, Je Brandon hit his face on the apron. Marcus, uh-oh, we might see the submission. We might see the submission. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't know how Jay is hanging in there. Look at this hold. Look at the control. The bridge Marcus has. Jay with a series of elbows to the top of the head. Marcus holding his crown, get it? Jay Leon up. Oh! Marcus with enough wherewithal to move on the elbow. Marcus knows he's got to inflict more punishment. Don't just go for a cover. But why is he talking shit? Look at that. Unbelievable. He's got to the count of five. Release the choke. F4. Now he's getting carried away. That means he's frustrated. Jay Leone. Oh, oh! Marcus, the king's coccyx. The king's coccyx might be bruised. Marcus trying to... No, he's not going to tag. Jay's trying to tag. And Marcus cuts him off just when there's a ray of hope. Brandon frustrated. He wants in there. Marcus boxing the ears and neck of Jay Leon. Jay somehow gets up to his feet. Jay Leon 
Oh, it's close. Did he miss? Oh. They burn an atomic drop. Perfectly legal, folks. It's intended for the tailbone. We know that it does get the fruit basket involved as well. Marcus, now he's going to try to submit him again. Going to try to submit Jay Leon again. That's smart while he's incapacitated. He's trying to get a tap out. Brandon and Rosie trying to encourage their friend. But look at those palm strikes. Look at this. Rosie made the tag, but Marcus the Kings, the ref didn't see it. No, and now he's just going to punish the kid. He's going to punish the kid. Oh, and there's the cover. No, Jay Leo might be the first one. Oh, it doesn't get me closer. One, two. Oh, man. Oh, an elbow to the jawbone stops Jay Leon. He almost had him. Stop cheating. After what we've seen tonight, you know, Marcus controlled himself pretty well in the first match. There were limited head games in the second match he participated in, but now he's going all out. Jay Leon, Marcus on the top rope. Oh, beautiful crossbody, too. Oh, he can't beat that kid. He can't pin that kid. Look at the frustration on the face of Marcus Smith. Brandon talking shit. He wants nothing more than to get his hands on Marcus. Jay Leon, out of uh, unbelievable, kicks out of that one. All the abuse he's taken, all the punishment. As far as he's gone, third match of the night for this young man, for all of these young men. Marcus going up to the top again. Taking his sweet time, though. Taking his sweet time. Oh, Jay Leon, no one home, no one home. Please. I guess if there's a 10 count, they're both eliminated this time. Marcus rolls to a corner. That's Jay's corner. No one's there. Jay makes the tag. Brandon comes in. And don't forget, he's pissed. Belly to belly. Beautiful belly to belly. 20 minutes gone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Big fall away. Marcus shot all the way across the ring. Badass Brandon Campbell. Sidewalk slam. Brandon's on fire. All oh, that shit talk. He's not talking shit now. I'm talking about the king. Brandon is right in the catbird seat. Marcus into the ropes. Comes around the clothesline and he goes for the crucifix. Can he get it? He got it. One, two, three, no! Brandon's been eliminated. Rosie in right away. And he has every right to. He's the next man in line. Sadly, Brandon eliminated. Marcus held on to the ropes. Rosie, backsplash. He's having his way with Marcus. Bulldog right to the center of that ring. Rosie is on fire. Rosie's trying to lock in that Burmese sleeper. If he does, this shit is over for Marcus. Uh oh, now they're going for the suplex back and forth. Marcus, oh, he drops him in that front face drop. And there it is, that Burmese sleeper I was telling you about. Say good night, Marcus. Say good night. Look at how red Marcus's ears are. This thing is slowing down the blood flow, the oxygen, the pulse, the heart rate to the head and neck, wearing him out. He may pass out. He may pass out. Marcus is desperately getting to his feet. He's to a foot and a knee. Now he's to both feet. What's going to happen here? Oh, no. No. Not like this. Oh. Marcus the King Smith eliminated Rosie. Jay Leon swings. Marcus swings. Jay Leon sleeper. Hang on, kid. Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go. Hang on. No. Marcus fires him up. He's got the sleeper. Jay's got to get out of it. He's got to get out of it. He's got to get out of it. He's dipping. He's dipping. He's dipping. He might. This might be it for Jay Leon. He's getting tired. Marcus is not released again. It's been a long night. Three matches. I wouldn't blame him. I'd hate to see the King win, but wait. Oh, a stutter out of nowhere. Jay Leon groggy.
your winner and the best man of the evening. After three outstanding matches for him, the relentless Jay Leo. He should be proud. He should be proud.